Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Jojo no Kimio no Bokuen Diamond Wakura Kenai, or you can call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is, Diamond is Unbreakable, which is on episode 25. Now, this episode right here, it looks like to me that things are going to get very tense from here on out because I do not know what to expect to happen, so if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that a woman narrates um, a story where she met this bat, where she met this man, and so forth. But he's not really much of a good man, from what I heard, especially when she has a son with him. But and what's this guy's name? I don't know. But one thing for sure, it's like um, things kind of got. One thing for sure, I forgot the guy's name apparently, and. It appears to me that this person right here has a change of change of plans. Like it looks like um he ends up cooking. She's actually pretty surprised about this. As for Josuke, Jotaro, Okuyasu, and what's his name? Oh yes, Koichi decides to go venture in Kira's new house or, or Kira's old home. I mean, yeah, old home. I don't know why I, I almost said new house or something, but. We have to it that he has a strange hobby of collecting nail clippings from his toes and his fingers. And I go like, what the heck? Are you really serious about this? But before they continue, they get interrupted by Kira's father and so forth, you know? And we also get to know that Kira does hide his real purpose or strength of intelligence just to not, like, um, boost any, like, um, major, how am I supposed to say, attention? But going back to Kira's father, it seems like his stand powers is very strange. But somehow we have to it, despite having so much struggle happening here and there, involving being in a photograph and so forth, um, we have to it that um, Josuke and Jotaro manage to get out of it thanks to Jotaro's thinking, and they end up tying him up, claustrophobic, and tape him right there. But apparently because like um, Koichi and Okuyasu was like distracted by this guy's um, words about unable to breathe and so forth. I'm thinking my mind, don't listen to this guy, alright? But Okuyasu on the other hand decided to put a couple tabs on him and somehow ends up saying, ends up fooling Okuyasu that he ran away or something, you know? But there's something that Kira's father did not um, want these other people to find and that is a... And that is the bow and arrow. But apparently it was the arrow he did not want them to take. And he took it for himself and managed to get out of there. Which is really ridiculous. But we also got to know that Kira's father knows that Kira ha has some kind of strange hobby. Known as like, you can, you could, you never could help but kill women even when you were a boy. But if that's what brings you happiness, I'll protect you, you know? And so forth. And... Pretty much, he says, you are my only son, and I'm thinking in my mind, are you freaking kidding me? You're going to protect a psychopath? Although, if a parent is going to do that that way, I guess so. It is what it is. And we have to it that the this person that has been focusing on is Kosaku Kawajiri, Shinobu Hayato, I believe. I don't know. But one thing for sure, after making dinner, the wife is actually happy. But we have to it that the cat that was locked out of the outside, it seems to be acting strange, but I think like there's a reason why. I guess the cat understands why, what's going on here and there. But we have to it that um, this person has been cutting his toe, his fingernails off, taking a shower, razor blading, you know, and it seems like to me that the wife is being suspicious, but not to mention that this person is has the deadly queen or something, you know? I mean, deadly, deadly queen. And that is not good. Not, not very, very good, apparently. And we get to know why. Because this guy who has the deadly queen stand is actually Kira himself. And this woman is surprised about what he, uh, what he just did or something. Such as stealing money or something. Grabbing money out of the bag, maybe. I don't know what the cue is, but... This per I thought like Kira, who is in that person's body right now, used Deadly Queen to set an explosive and possibly kill him later, you know, and get the money back. But whatever the case may be, it looks like things are gonna get really tense from here on out, cause because it looks like Kira is now adapting to a new person's life and a new face, new style, yada yada yada. You guys get the cue, but. 
It looks like it could be trouble for the woman herself and trouble for Jojo, Josuke, Okiasu, and Koichi because Kira's on the run on the run and he already has a new face and new life right now. So whatever happens right now, they're gonna have to find the rest of him throughout the next cup next rest of the episodes possibly. Because I think he's gonna be the major antagonist throughout the rest of the series, obviously. The way how I'm looking at it. I'm I'm an anime only, I'm just guessing. So, this bow and arrow or something has been a very consistent thing throughout the series. It showed us, it shows itself at the beginning, and it gets stolen, and then it gets taken. But we get to also know that this bow and arrow was created was was has more than one created because it looks like Dio and that grandma seems to be using it to like um. Make more stand u- stand uses as, as multiple stand uses and so forth, and that became an ugly issue in the end, as it is. And the origins behind that was pretty interesting, and it seems like things got out of hand. And Kira's father wanted to protect him, despite his like a freaking hobby of having to kill women and so forth. Yada yada yada. It's gonna get crazy from from here on out. I do not know what's gonna happen, but one thing for sure, it's not gonna be as simple as it's gonna simple to track down Kira as he is adapting to his new life. But if they find any, but if Jojo, Josuke, Koichi, and Okuyasu find a certain hobby he's doing, like that person's hobby, they have a chance. But they might have to be careful with what's happening next because Kira, they don't know where he is right now. All I know is we all know where Akira is, but will Jojo and Jotaro, I mean Josuke, Jotaro and Okiasu along with Koichi, will they be able to find them? That's the question. But I'm pretty sure they will anyway. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.